Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tecundra. It's been really nice out this summer, so I haven't really wanted to be working on this thing. I've been out doing fun stuff. But now we're back in the garage, and I got my boy Hatchling Dave here. So We're gonna try to tackle these wires. Dave's gonna help me out. I got all these wiring diagrams and stuff, and I've been taking a lot of notes. And I already started on some of this stuff, so all the wiring underneath the truck has been done. And we gotta tackle this main ECU plug now which is known as A24. Here's our map, dude, okay? That's all wires that need ran. Mostly this is all E7 and E8 connectors from the truck. We need to cut those plugs off and they're gonna get wired to this A24 plug. It's, it's, it's gonna suck. These are all extra notes. Dude, it's bad, it's bad. Okay, uh, forget about that page. Um, By the more, way, I'm here notes. to push him to get this done. Yeah, he's trying to motivate me to get this done. Let me start over from sweating. He's here to motivate me to get this done more than anything. So uh, we also got the four wheel drive ECU that needs wired up. Although I got a plan for that. And this I already did. These are the two plugs that go from the fuse box to the engine harness. They're already done in the truck. Uh, let's see what else here. Mm, that's all already done. That's done. That's done. Okay, fuel pump ECU, that's all done already because that's ran up under the truck. The only thing, there's two wires that need connected into that ECU plug, you know, so. The main one. Yep. Um, this is already done. So, you know, I got a good start. This is the stuff that I'm really confused on, and that's these junction connectors in the truck. And I couldn't find any diagrams on them, guys. So, I'm kind of uh, making do the best I can. I got. I think I got all the wires figured out. I think I know where they all go. So uh, let's see, extra stuff, extra stuff, extra stuff, extra stuff, extra stuff, extra stuff. These are all the connectors in that junction box under the hood of the Tundra, which now the Tacoma is gonna also have. Yeah, DA1 is part of that. Man, I'm, I'm lost. Look at all this shit. Four wheel drive ECU, more notes about that. Okay, well, we gotta get started Basically, somewhere. You're but, trying to make a full functional windows, everything work. Full yeah, truck. everything's gotta work. So over here in the dirtier part of the garage, all of this, well not all of this, but a big chunk of this stuff is gonna go in. This is that junction box I'm talking about. This is gonna have to go in the Tacoma. And this is the A24 plug for the ECU. That is the four wheel drive ECU, which is gonna stay right there like that. So it's got, it's already ran. Oh, it is. For the most okay. part, mostly already ran. So that's actually good. <laughs> that's like why we're gonna put all the, there. That's why we're gonna put most of this stuff in the truck, uh, because it's gonna connect a lot of these wires from D24. They'll go straight over here to the four wheel drive computer, and I figured we do want to use the Tundra four wheel drive computer because it's a little different than Tacoma. I think we're gonna have to start right here with this. And this little plug right here took such a hard hit. We're gonna have to swap this out for another one that and I you got. Have another one. Yeah. Unfortunately, I hate to even do it, but that's probably where we're gonna have to start by getting that other one ready. Right uh, no, we don't have to depin it. I'm just gonna cut them off and solder them. I think. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right. First thing we're gonna do is this connector I got from the junkyard. We're gonna swap this in to this harness here. This came out of my Tundra. But this thing's broke because it got hit so we're gonna have to swap this in and there's quite a few wires here but some of them actually run through this harness to go to this 4x4 computer or to other stuff uh, we'll find out i don't know i lost track of all this shit long ago for now we're going to figure out which wires run directly to the 4x4 computer and we're going to solder those in first before we move into the truck all right let's cut to the time lapse Okay, well, we connected some of these wires. This is a real pain in the ass that I shouldn't really have to deal with, but because the ECU was hit in the Tundra, we gotta go through this. So this is our new connector that we're gonna use. And we only had to connect a few wires from here. 
Um, all these wires that are cut off here, this is how it came from the junkyard. I asked them to cut it for me, you know, so whatever. That's what I got. Uh, but this looks pretty good, and although this looks like a jumbly mess, it's actually not so terrible. This biggest connector in the junction box, the plug that plugs into this runs all the way to the back of the Tundra, and it's the only harness that runs back there. So it goes to the tail lights and the fuel pump ECU, the fuel pump itself, EVAP, stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to need this at all. So basically, we're just trying to weed out all the stuff we don't need. So we're only going to be left over with what we want to put in the Tacoma. I'm labeling a lot of these wires too because I don't really know if we'll have to go back and figure out what they were for, you know. Uh, we will. Yeah, we we'll probably have to. So <laughs> we're labeling stuff before we cut it. We're going to label these RA1 because we are getting rid of the RA1 plug. Now we'll know that's where these used to go to. I don't think it's going to matter. But these three wires here, I couldn't figure out what they're for either. But they just jump from this harness to this harness. Um, so basically, this is three wires that run from the engine to the back of the truck for whatever reason. And I couldn't figure that out. I'm just going to cut them for now. What's up guys, Mikey Swartz back here again in the garage with the Tacundra. And look at this mess we've got going on right here. Oh my God, what in the hell? We really simplified this harness. Check this out. We got a lot of wires going. In fact, more of these are gonna disappear too, but you know, I hate to cut stuff if I don't have to just yet because we're gonna need some leads here and there to run wires. But anyway, we're gonna get rid of this junction box completely. I'm gonna pop all these connectors out of here. These are the only four connectors we're gonna be using from this box. So we're just gonna pop them out of there and just plug them in under the hood. It'll look all right. We're gonna have to extend these wires since the junkyard cut these so short. We gotta lengthen them because this is gonna have to come through the firewall along with these plugs too. And then the other side of this stuff, for example, the four wheel drive ECU, that's what these are for. Dave's unbolting the factory ECU out of the truck right now. Why don't I just walk over here and show it? Patching Dave's in here, right here, unbolting this factory ECU. We actually never even pulled it out of the truck yet. We're trying to make room for the Tundra ECU, which is right here. This thing's made to bolt in through the firewall like this, and you can see the four bolt holes. So we're gonna try to stick with that plan and just cut this hole out a little bigger here and make it go in there. Keep it up with me. So this is the connector we're working with. This is A24 that plugs into the ECU. This is the busted up one that came from the Tundra that I bought. And we got all these extra wires. So we're gonna use these wires to add to these wires. That way we have all the correct colors on there too, because that's gonna be important so we know exactly where we're connecting these. Sound like that. that way when it doesn't start, we have a way to diagnose it. Okay, so here is our harness for the A24 connector. And you can see how I connected all these in separate places. So instead of having one big jumbled mess of like all these connections at one spot, how they were cut, 
I cut them all at different lengths so they're not all piled up there. But I added about two feet to these. Some got about three or four feet, but I wasn't too worried about it. They'll all get cut wherever they need to be. And we still have some connectors in the junction box that came from the Tundra. Just these two. And these are, let me see here. Mm, hold on, hold on. What are these called? Nope, nope, nope. Ah, where is this? Yeah, it's in here somewhere, you guys. It's in here. Hold on. Okay. Uh, that's not it. Uh, I mean, this is probably all. I'm gonna show you anyway. Where is this? Um, this is a fucking mess, but I finally found it. Uh, I got some notes right here. This is the map of this little junction box right here. These two little guys are just junction connectors. They could just come out of there. They don't go anywhere, see? They don't go anywhere. They're just uh, junction connectors. So these things make connections here and there. This is basically just part of the harness. So they're gonna come out, but they'll still get plugged into the harness. And then we still have DA1, which is where a lot of the four x four computer stuff runs through. And in here, this blue one is called A45. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, no. This is D73. But on the engine harness, it's actually A45. I don't know why. So D73 plugs into A45. It's all Greek. RA1 and RA2, I've completely got rid of at this point. 